Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. I have a very exciting video today. I'm feeling very yellow. We have the Old Navy spring dress, the yellow look, the yellow lip gloss. We're feeling very yellow today for good reason because today we're actually doing three looks and a review of the new Banana Fetish palette by Jeffree Star. This palette has been so much fun to play with. I have a lot of thoughts and I did some fun looks. So if you're interested in seeing what I came up with, then just keep watching. Okay, we're about to dive into our first look using the Banana Fetish palette. This is what she looks like on the outside, just this very glossy yellow, and then you have, of course, the banana emblem on the front. Then you open it up, and here is the color scheme. Now, looking at the palette immediately, it doesn't like wow me, but looking at the swatches, I love the swatches. I think it's just the fact that the background is such a pigmented yellow that I'm like, what the crap do I do with this? I have my cute yellow sundress. I'm feeling very sunshiny. Let's do it. I'm gonna start on this fluffy wet and wild blending brush and I'm gonna go into just the tip, which is this very light yellow matte shade. I'm using this as my initial transition and crease shade. Look how pretty of a yellow that is. That is gorgeous. Next, I'm going to a Morphe and Jeffree Star. This is just a crease brush. And I think I wanna go into Banana Fetish, which is this really bright yellow shade. I know today I wanna do something with a pop of blue. I have a couple of the mascaras and I really wanna try the blue mascara today. I'm just popping this yellow right in the crease to make that yellow a bit more vibrant on top of the pastel yellow we laid down first. Next on this Morphe JS11 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my Peeps, which is this very, very light yellow. It's almost like an eggshell white-ish yellow and I'm popping that all over the lid. I'm gonna take my finger now and hop into G-Spot, which is this top champagne shimmer shade. And I'm gonna pop that right over top on my lid as well. This is what the eye look is looking like so far. I know I wanna hop into this blue shade. This is just an e.l.f. defining shadow brush. And I'm gonna hop into Bulge, which is this really pretty blue. I'm gonna start smudging that on my lower lash line. I don't know if my brush was dirty or if the shade is just a little funky. This is not the blue I was expecting though. For my inner corner, I'm gonna hop into this really bright white shimmer and this is called Banana Split. This I'm just popping right on the inner corner and I'm gonna brush very lightly underneath my brow bone. These shimmers are definitely performing like a cream to powder formula. If you've ever tried Super Shocks from ColourPop, it's very reminiscent of that. You can kind of see that as I pushed my brush in, it moved the pan around in this shade as well. It did that when I used my finger. I'm gonna quick do some eyeliner in my bottom waterline. This is my cream gel liner from ColourPop in the shade Exit. It is just a very pretty white shade. I want to try and get this blue a little more blue. It's just not as blue as I'd like. Maybe that's just the vibe of the blue. Maybe I'm the crazy one. I think we're gonna move on from messing with the blue and instead I'm gonna go into my F Proof Mascara. This is a beautiful blue shade. Periwinkle Sprinkle is the name. This is supposed to be just a really pretty periwinkle mascara. I'm gonna just pop this on my bottom lashes and then I'm gonna do just a regular black on the top. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like this bottom just isn't turning out very blue. I feel like even with the blue mascara, I don't know. If I'm being honest, I don't feel like this is my favorite Jeffree palette. On my top lashes, I'm just going in with my Rem Beauty mascara. I wanna see if I can get a little bit more of that blue shift in my Jeffree Star Ice Crusher palette. I think I'm gonna go into Avalanche, which is this top whitish blue reflect shade, just using that as my highlight today. And lastly, for lips on this look, I'm gonna go into one of my favorite nude duos. This is my Jeffree Star Lip Liner in Posh Spice and Liquid Lipstick in Christmas Cookie. 
All right, guys, this is the first look complete. I'm honestly, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I feel like I definitely have to use this palette a few more times to really get an idea of how I feel about it, just right off of my initial impressions. I feel like I got what I wanted, which was a really pretty light, like, summery look, but I just don't feel like it wowed me. I don't know, it's this bottom blue, like the blue mascara and the blue shadow. I just, I don't love it. I wanted it to be a little bit more punchy. I was able to build up the blue just a tiny bit, but even the blue mascara, I feel like didn't do a whole lot. And I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna be a negative Nelly, so we will have to keep playing with it, but let's move into the second look. We are back for look number two. So for look number two, I really want to play off of some of these neutrals and I'm very interested in this pink. So I think we're going to do something with a pop of pink and mostly neutral and not so yellow in this look. So first I'm taking this Lexi 121 brush and I'm going into Pinky Ring, which is this hot magenta color. And this I'm going to pop right on the inner part of my eyelid. I don't really have a sense of direction for how this look is going to go. So we're just going to kind of go in blind and hope everything blends out nice. I think I'm going to drag this color down onto my lid a little bit as well. I just want a nice pink pop right in the inner part of my eye look. Like I said, I have no idea what direction I'm going with this look, but I'm going to start with pink because I know I want pink in this look. <laughs> next, I'm going into this e.l.f. contour brush, and I think I'm going to go into this matte right next door to the pink. This is called Size Queen, and I'm going to start by patting that in the middle of my lid. I think I'm going for like a Neapolitan type vibe with the pink and then a light brown and then a dark brown on the very end. We'll see how that turns out. I'm very gently blending the pink and the brown together. I feel like <laughs> I might have made a mistake. I might have definitely made a mistake, but we're gonna see how it goes. If it looks awful, we can wipe it off and start over. I'm gonna start bringing the brown down on my lid as well. I'm not really sure if I wanna put something else on my lid. So I'm just gonna use this medium brown. Next, I'm taking a Morphe M506 and going into Sunday Service, which is this really deep, matte brown and jump into a slightly bigger BH brush just to pack some of that pigment in. But this is going to go just on the very outside of my eye. I'm just trying to mesh all of those colors together. I'm going to quick tap into my peeps, which is this really pale yellow shade. It's almost white. And I'm just going to run that very lightly over the edges just to make sure everything is really soft and blendy. I definitely thought this was going to go better when I was thinking about it in my head. Next, I'm going to take my finger and go into Never Bitter, which is this really pretty deeper gold. It almost has like a blue-green reflect to it. And I'm going to smack this right all over the lid. Just trying to save this look a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do that, honestly. Okay, that's actually not so bad. This might have actually done it. This might have saved it. My nails are literally stained brown from doing a color earlier this week, and I didn't wear gloves. I'm gonna go into my Morphe M506 and Don't Choke, which is this really deep matte brown. And I'm gonna use that to define the outer corner just a little bit. I'm gonna take my Sigma E55 and hop into Pinky Ring. And I'm gonna blend that right on the lower lash line just to kind of match up with where it is on the top of my lid. Using that same E55, I'm gonna go into Sunday Service and I'm gonna buff that on the outside of my lower lash line. I'll be honest, I don't think I love this look as much as I like the one we did yesterday. And even then, I don't feel like I loved that look either. I feel like I'm trying too hard to like this palette. Nothing can make an eye look better like a good winged liner. So I'm going to go into my Rem Beauty liquid eyeliner. The wings help a lot. I like this look. 10 times more than I did five seconds ago. For my inner corner, I'm gonna go into this flat concealer brush from BH Cosmetics and Star Split, which is the same super shocky shade we used yesterday. For mascara today, the one I have on my desk is the Rum Beauty Lengthening Mascara. For highlight, I'm gonna go back into my Ice Crusher palette, and today I'm gonna to go into Snow Glob, which is this top 
middle goldy purpley shifty shade and these highlights are very blinding so I'm going to put just a teeny tiny bit on my cheekbones. And for lips today I'm going to top off the look with a little bit of plastic surgery from Jeffree Star as well. This is the second look complete. I definitely wanted to play around with those browns and of course the pink. I don't know, it was just calling my name. I couldn't do a video trying this palette, doing several looks and not using the pink. I actually think it tied together really well. I was questioning for a little bit. I really was, but I think the wings helped tie it together and also the brown lip helped tie in with the eyes. I just really like how this came out. I wouldn't say it's my favorite look ever, but I definitely enjoy it a lot more, I think, than the look we did last time. So let's go ahead and move on to the third look. We are back for the third and final look. So let's go ahead and get into it. I think today I want to do more of a neutral look. I have my cute yellow dress. And I know in the first look we played around with some of these brighter yellows, but I'm almost wanting to play around with some of these grungier yellows. So the first shade I'm going to go into is How Do You Peel, which is this really pretty light grungy yellow. And I'm going in on a ColourPop E15 brush. This is going to be my main transition and crease shade today. I really want to play with some of these grungier, darker yellow tones. Okay, this is the first shade I've had this happen, but as I dip into it, the pan is actually moving. And if I hold it upside down, like it stays in. So I think it's still glued. I don't think they switched to magnetic pans, but it is a little concerning that it's moving. And in fact, I do feel like the quality of Jeffree's palettes have gone down a little bit. I ordered the Beauty Killer 2 palette and I haven't even used it yet. And the mirror you see is disconnected from the palette itself so I have to re-glue that down so it's all nice and stable. This is the second palette that I've purchased that has had issues. Next I want to go into this bottom grungy matte. It's almost like a greenish yellow like a light olive and it's called Morning After. I'm going to go in with this fluffy BH blending brush and I'm going to pop that one on the crease as well over top of that first yellow shade. Look how pretty this wash of yellow is looking. I definitely have to say the shades we've picked today are more pigmented than the ones we've tried in the past. Using my Morphe M506, I'm going to hop into Pounding Cake, which is this deep matte brown. And I'm going to pop this one in the outer part of my crease, mostly in this like outer V area, but I am going to brush it inwards a little bit as well. Going in with my MAC 234, I'm going to go into Cream Pie, which is this really pretty light yellow shade. I'm going to pop that one all over my lid. And back into the Morphe M506, I'm going to go into the deepest shade, Don't Choke. And this one I'm also going to concentrate on the very outer portion of my eyelid. I'm going to take my finger and go into Vitamin P, which is this really pretty gold shimmer shade. And I'm going to pop that right on top of that matte yellow on my lid just to add a little bit of sparkle. I feel like with the formula of these shimmers, the finger is much easier to apply than a brush. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go into my Morphe M508 and I think I'm going to go back into Morning After and start smudging that on my lower lash line. Using that same brush, I'm going to go back into Pounding Cake and do the same thing, this time concentrating it more on the outer half of my lower lashes. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Extra Frosting. It's just a very pale, almost banana yellow, and I feel like it'll be really pretty to open up the eye. I'm going to take another ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This one's in the shade Woodsy, which is just this really pretty brown. And I'm just going to smudge that right on to my top lash line just to give it a little bit of definition. I do have the yellow shade of the F Proof Mascara that I want to try on my lower lashes. And I think for my top lashes, I'm just going to go into my Essence Lash Princess. Last but not least, for inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into G-Spot, which is this light champagne gold shimmer shade. For a highlight, I'm going to go into Snow Job, which is the same highlight I used in the last look. This is just in my Ice Crusher palette. Just felt like it would be fitting to use other Jeffree products in this review. 
I love how glittery these highlights are. I actually love them. Last but not least for lips, I'm going to use this lipstick from the Pricked Collection. This is in the shade Play Your Luck. Just for funsies, I have this lip gloss from the MAC and Stranger Things collection. It's literally a yellow gloss, and I think it's in the shade Marvelous Max. So I think I'm going to add this to my lips too. Why not? I don't know when else I'm ever going to try a yellow gloss. Forgot how sticky the lip gloss formula is, but I did it. I successfully used a yellow gloss in a look. I'm very impressed. This is the third and final look complete and honestly save the best for last. I really think this is the best look out of all three I've done. I wanted to pick up a lip gloss from this collection so bad and I couldn't justify the red or the black ones because I already have red and black glosses, but when have I ever seen a yellow gloss? So I'm pretty impressed that we were able to work that into the look today as well. Now that the third and final look is complete, I think it's time we go ahead and talk about my thoughts on the collection. As a whole, I will be honest, I I don't think this is my favorite Jeffree palette. If I'm being completely honest, I love the Jeffree Star formula. I feel like the formula is always so good. I really like the color selection. It was a bit hard to put together looks in my head because the packaging is such a bright yellow that I really had to rely on swatches of the shades to kind of see what I wanted to do. I feel like everything just looks so much more yellow when it's put against a literally neon yellow background. I do like the octagonal pans. I think those are such a fun touch. And I also like that it says banana right in the middle of the pans in the middle row. As a whole, I would say the bottom and the top rows were pretty good. It was this middle row that I had the most issues with. Bulge, this blue shade, wasn't showing up super pigmented when I tried it in the first look. And then Size Queen on the end here, we used in the second look. It just blended really patchy with the other brown. I also used Sunday Service in the second look and I feel like that one also was a little bit patchy. The shimmer formula I think is a lot of fun. He played with a new shimmer formula for this collection and I actually really enjoyed the shimmers. They're very much like the Super Shock Shadow Shimmers from ColourPop. If you don't have a large collection or you like yellow tones, I really feel like this was a lot of fun. I personally love yellow eyeshadow on myself, so I had a lot of fun playing with it and I really could appreciate the yellow products for that reason. I could appreciate all the different yellow tones. It just definitely isn't, I wouldn't say it's beginner friendly. It's very hard to look at the palette and create looks just because of the packaging. And then also just how similar a lot of the shades are, but how different they are at the same time. Like in the pan, they all look very similar, but on the eye, they all look very different. And some have more of a green undertone and some have more of a yellowy orange undertone. And so it really depends on how well your eyes are trained to identify those differences. The range in the palette is pretty good. I would say really my only picky issue is just the quality. I just haven't loved the looks I've come up with, aside from this one, of course. So I'll definitely be playing around with it some more and maybe in the future I'll do an updated review. I'm just at that point where right now out of all of my Jeffree Star palettes, I wouldn't put this one near the top, if you know what I mean. I think this one would definitely rank more towards the bottom of my Jeffree palettes. I wanted to love this as much as I love like the Conspiracy or even the Blood Money palette or the Weirdo palette, but this just didn't do it for me. Let's go ahead and talk about those F Proof mascaras. I love how fun these are. I know they're supposed to be like, I don't know if I can say the word on YouTube, so I'm not going to. We have the blue, which is the shade Periwinkle Sprinkle and the yellow is Banana Fetish. I have tried both of these. I have the yellow on this look and we tried the blue in the first look. And if I am being completely candidly honest, this is my first time trying the F Proof Mascara. And I know that colored mascaras can sometimes be different than normal black mascaras, but I have seen colored mascaras done better. I used to have some ColourPop colored mascaras literally years ago. I don't think I have them anymore. I think I decluttered them all by now, but I had both a blue and a yellow. I do remember having both and I loved how pigmented those were. I don't know if it's just my lack of natural lashes, but I mean, if you even look at today, like I'm using a $3 Essence Mascara on my top lashes for the black mascara and my bottom lashes has the yellow mascara. I can't remember how much these were, like $20, $23. And I just 
don't feel like it's worth that much. I can appreciate the packaging and I appreciate it from like the artistry point of view. Like I think the packaging is gorgeous. And I know with this type of packaging, especially as intricate as it is, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. You're paying for not only the product, but the experience as well with all the fun details. This was not my, my best Jeffrey haul. I did also pick up the body scrub. Of course, I can't exactly review this like I can makeup, but I have been using this on and off for the past week as I've been reviewing the palette. And I really like how it's made my skin feel. I use it primarily on my arms and legs. Me and Bruce are wrestling today. Please don't get alarmed. I feel like it's made it so smooth and bright. And it has that really nice artificial banana smell. I personally love the artificial banana smell. That was another thing about the palette. It kind of smelled like Elmer's glue. I want to say it was supposed to have a little bit of a banana smell to it but I just did not love it. And just as a quick little bonus review, this MAC Stranger Things lip gloss, <laughs> girl, I have this weird thing where things launch at Ulta. I have to go pick up part of the collection. So when the Stranger Things and MAC collection came out at Ulta, I did have to go pick up some stuff. Your girl is a hoarder when it comes to makeup, but I did decide to get the yellow one on a whim. I didn't know when or where I would try and wear this, but I do think it pulls this look together so well. It's like gorgeous. Never in a million years did I think I would be voluntarily wearing a yellow gloss and loving it. So but that is all for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for joining me and chatting with me and seeing the looks I came up with. Let me know which one was your favorite. I really think this third and final look was mine. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends!